along with Granny and Craig and Today's sometimes, sometimes other people. people, Lisa Gifford, you are in the UK and uh, have actually been out partying all night and it's four o'clock a.m. I could do without the meat chance every time two big men get, get in the ring. I don't see Claudio as a big meaty man. That's the thing. He's so muscly. He's kind of wiry. <laughs> so, hey, he's meaty. What do you think meat is? Let me tell you something about Mercedes. Have you ever uh, dealt with her fan base? Oh, my God, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. If you are a fan of women's wrestling and you want to see more of it in AW, then you should pray that Mercedes goes in. Because let me tell you something. If he half-asses the booking of Mercedes, oh, man. Oh, man. He will get it. Swerve Strickland versus Dustin Rhodes. This, of course, is replacing Swerve Strickland versus Keith Lee. The good news means the world is not going to end, because I was certain if that match actually happened, it would literally be the world's end. Since that opener, like, this has been below the quality, wrestling-wise, of an average Dynamite, which I watch for free. By the end of this next eight, man, I thought it was worse than an average Rampage, and I paid 50 bucks of my own money to watch this show, and I was not terribly thrilled about that. Yes, there were boos for Jericho. The biggest problem with this match was that everybody was completely thrown off their game by the fans turning on Chris Jericho and everything involving Chris Jericho that happened over the course of the day. Hausman, who's an online journalist, has alluded to Jericho misbehaving and on a podcast, um, I believe he likened him or made a comparison to Harvey Weinstein. That is my understanding of the situation. And then yes. a female wrestler, who I'm not going to mention, put a heart emoji on a post. That's what's happened. That's fair, isn't it, Brian? I think, or well, Vinny, that's that is exactly right. what has happened. I, I knew there was something going on, but since everyone's so goddamn vague about it, I've learned more in the last minute than I have in the past 24 hours. So there you go. He refused to answer the question. And by refusing to answer the question, now you have people believing that Tony Khan has covered something up. You know, this this whole thing could snowball into fans totally believing whatever they're going to believe. And I think that at the end of the day, Tony, or, like, somebody needs to say something. Julia Hart versus Abaddon in a biting is legal match. That sucked. Yeah, I didn't think this was a match very good at all. By this point, I was convinced this was among the very worst AEW shows I'd ever seen. Thankfully... Well, at this point it was, but it turned around. Boy, did the last 90 minutes here turn things around. These are two fans of Japanese professional wrestling and mm -hmm. strong style and, and fighting spirit. There was so and much fighting spirit on display here. got to live their dream in a main... Well, it was, I'd call this a co-main event here on this pay-per-view. I would argue coming in it was the main event. Samoa Joe chokes out Max clean in his hometown. Wow! That I did not see coming. So the lights go out, they come back on, and Adam is sitting in the chair, and the guy's behind him unmasked. You know, I heard from people in the building that didn't like it. They expected something bigger for the devil. But I thought it was a, a good, solid payoff, and we will see where they go. You know who is not on this roster page? Yes, come on. Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Don't be a mark, Vinny. Come on. I'm, I am merely stating effect. It is supposed to be Japan Month here on the Brian and Vinny Tuesday show. And we went up to the uh, Stardom Queendom show on on YouTube and it was gone. The first week of Japan Week here in January of 2024, we're watching nothing. Short poem, four lines or less, about what you expect to see in wrestling in 2024. They won't finish the story. Cody will be a loser. Just like the 1993 version of Lex Luger. Wow. <laughs> I like when Granny just sits there and chuckles every now and then at particularly funny lines. What else should I do? I don't know. You're doing fine. Remember when Sting was the pecan? I think AJ called him the pecan. I do not recall this. <laughs> you don't remember this? No. Am I the only one? Who called someone a pecan? What the hell was it? This is very important. AJ did call him Stink. I do That's that. for sure. That I can verify. AJ referred to Sting as Stink. Stink, you're wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. I, I was wrong. I was wrong about you, Stink. Rick Rude called Shawn Michaels the pecan of the WWF instead of icon. Yes. All right, Granny, what do you got today? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<laughs> Undertaker versus Rod Van Dam. I think you had a lot of Rod Van Dam matches back in the day. Rod comes out. Rod throws punches. Rod knocks Undertaker out of the ring. The crowd goes wild for Rod. Rod finds a, a steel bar. A Rod? Him. Yes. I call him Rod. Okay. <laughs> you sure do. Our RVD is too long. What? <laughs> They're both three letters. Let's let her go. <laughs> One lady I just could not stand. She would try to live with different people. She was just a man killer. <laughs> oh. She moved in one of her f with it, one of her friends and then slept with her boyfriend. That's how nice she was. Oh, well, she was nice wow. to the boyfriend. She almost had to use a shovel to get her out of her house. I think you need to write a whole chapter on this lady, mm -hmm. this man killer. Remember the time I lost my memory? I do. Yeah, I what do. What an ironic question. You know what I did for New Year's? What's that? Smelled the neighbor's marijuana. <laughs> yeah, Happy New Year. That, that was I a did. hell of a New Year. It's for real. <laughs> when was the last time you smelled marijuana, Granny? It's for real. You know, I figured that MGF was not going to be on the show, but I did not expect Samoa Joe to not be on the show. It was only the pre That was a surprise, too, actually. Segment. Yeah. I'm praying this guy is not a transitional champion. Because he's goddamn great. I think I got to bed about 5.30 a.m. after uh, watching Wrestle Kingdom and doing the show. And woke up sometime around, sometime around 11, 12, I think. And I immediately just slothed over, shuffled over to the recliner and began to watch Dynamite. Hadn't showered, hadn't looked in the mirror. But, man, I think I look better than Ward, though. Can we get this guy a hat while he's growing out this doofy hair? Mariah May is making her debut on the show and wants Tony to watch it. But Tony does not watch wrestling. I don't watch wrestling. That was awesome. This is in the running for the worst storyline already of, of it's, 2024. It's not going well. If we beat you in this wrestling match that Tony Storm will not watch because she doesn't like wrestling, Dax, you must leave your wife and your child. Cash? Well, you got to leave whoever might love you. We don't know. And you must join us as your new family. They need to move out. When this match ended, I was way more excited about Queen Aminata than Mariah May. I don't think that was the idea. I, I also thought that Queen Aminata looked better than Mariah May. This is supposed to be a showcase for Mariah May. Right. So she's doing an interview, and she go, she proceeds to bury New Jersey, and suddenly, Diana Perazzo debuts. New Jersey's own. And she gets a huge pop. Harley Cameron. What in the name of God above was this segment? The first time she debuted, what did she say? Her and Saray were talking, and they were like, she's really good with her hands. Yes, yes. And then we have this one where she goes, i do anything for you guys. I'm out of line by thinking this might be a lesbian storyline, and this was exactly how it was described to me. He was sitting in the middle of nowhere and somehow was able to binge watch the Continental Classic, <laughs> and he got all fired up. I don't want to say that this was better than anything in the Tokyo Dome, but, I mean, this is the one I'll remember more than anything at the Tokyo Dome. And here, on an AEW Dynamite show, in the year of our Lord, 2024, yeah. fans chanted, you fucked up. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe we got that chant, but we did. When I saw this angle here, I think that they're going to do another match, and Hangman's going to beat him, and they're going to go to Hangman Samoa Joe. And I think Swerve is going to become... Uh, the champion at some point, but I don't think it's happening like imminently. I think it's down the road. The news, in fact, is that Ilya Dragunov is not cleared for tonight. What the fuck happened? And the main event is off. That was not important enough news to to to, to not tell us during Blair Davenport and Lyra Valkyria. That's an important. That's a, as detail. like as important as it could be. Twenty years from now, no one will remember anything about the show except Joaquin Wild. He starts to jump, and they assist him by pulling that metal rope up as far as they can. It was gutsy to try that in this building, because it's small, and he may well have hit the roof. This dive was amazing. They showed 7,000 replays. It looked more amazing with each single one of them. This was Joaquin Wilde's version of the El Elix Skipper cage walk. Grayson Waller drops in to talk some shit, inspiring Trick to cut him off by saying, Naysayer, please! I don't know if you watched a lot of Social media, Brian. There's a clip going on from Pat McAfee on ESPN. It's absolutely hysterical and uh, involves the word naysayer. So I laughed my ass off of this. 
Tiffany Stratton versus Fallon Henley in a servant or ranch hand match. Yes, between the slam and the cage door a week or two ago, and now this one, they are just stealing all of World Class's best stuff. Shawn Michaels ran out of stuff in his own career to steal, loaded up Peacock, went through the archives. Here's cool stuff that worked for somebody else in the past. This is not a knock. I'm not criticizing him for this. This stuff worked. Um, let me, let me just, let me ask, what is wrong with this picture right here? And Gigi says something wrong. You're in my locker. This sounds like a Ric Flair tweet. In my personal space. Dude. <laughs> no good. This is already the best promo of 2024. I used to hit volleyballs and bitches in my free time. I laughed so hard. And after all that, after 15,000 non-wrestling segments, wasn't even a very good match. No. Trick no. and Grayson. No one cared. It was, it was there. I'm spent, dude. I'm tired. My favorite show killed me. Mm. And I watched too much wrestling over the last 24 hours. Dude, not as the last... I mean, there was a AEW pay-per-view five days ago. When they aired that recap of the devil angle, I was like, oh my god, that was not even a week. It feels like two years. It's been a lot happening this week. <laughs> 